Charter Local Edition with your host, Mark Staples. Welcome to Charter Local Edition at the Wyoming Association of Municipalities 2016 WAM Conference in Cody, Wyoming at the Cody High School. And one of our guests at the conference and on our program is Kelly Gooch, mm -hmm. councilman from the city of Sheridan. Kelly, welcome to the program. Glad to be here. Welcome to the conference. Yes, thank you. How did you get to be city councilman in uh, or, excuse me, in Sheridan? Well, you know, um, I love the city of Sheridan. I chose to move there with my wife uh, back in 2003. From? From Washington State. Uh, and we have a lot of family. My, my side of the family lives in Sheridan. So we decided we're just going to move to Sheridan, Wyoming. So tell, us, tell us about Sheridan for those watching the program who aren't as familiar as you are. Well, I'm a little partial to Sheridan. I think it's probably, in my opinion, one of the best cities in Wyoming. We're surrounded by the Bighorns. So many activities to do. We're, we're well known as a tourist city. A lot of people come in from around the world, and and um, Sheridan's pretty famous for that. There's a lot of things to see and to do. So. How, how'd you get on the council? I mean, obviously you have to run for it, <laughs> right? But what 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 did your appetite for that kind of? Well, you know, I started taking interest uh, in council uh, years before I did it. I started paying attention to local things going on, and uh, I happened to work with one of the councilmen at that time. Do you so, what profession? What, what is your background? I am in, in IT, so information technology, um, the techie nerd. Uh, some people like to call me the IT dude, whatever you want to call me. I talk to you off camera, though, it's a techie nerd with a chainsaw, right? That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. I did a lot of different things while I was going to college for technology, so uh, I've, I've done it all, truck driving, chainsawing. How long have you been on the council? A year and a half. Uh, just past the freshman stage, so... I'm no longer being harassed by the rest of the council about being the freshman. That's <laughs> so that's learning. good. I bet you're learning now. an awful lot. You know, I've equated it to um, your dad teaching you how to swim by tossing you off the dock into the pond and saying, there you go. Because you get on there and it's a lot more than you expect. It's just like open the floodgates and now you got to learn all of this. Fairly thankless, too, isn't it? A lot of criticism comes your way. You know, sometimes, sometimes. Uh, other times, when you get those that thank you for what you're doing, it makes it worth it. But, you know, it also makes it worth it that you get to be involved in things in the city. Let's talk about some okay. involvement this year. No. Ice rink. Ice rink. We actually, that's a completed... That doesn't sound like Sheridan, Wyoming, right off the top, that you, your ice rink. So well, you how know, does that work? We had an older ice rink that was there for years. It was an outdoor facility. They tore that down. They got funding to build a new one, and actually it's complete. Uh, so it's a Sheridan ice rink. It's also known as the M&M Center. But this is a great top-tier facility. It's um, regulation size ice rink. So they're going to be able to do all kinds of you know hockey games there, family events. And what's great about that is they also have, um, gosh, uh, skating there, free skate uh, skate rentals. And, and then like and then just to change course completely. Sure. You've got an aquatic center. Is that being built, or you're trying to finance it? The YMCA Aquatic Center. They're getting very close. They've raised, I believe, the money now. They're going to break ground next spring. Uh, so we're really excited about that because as wonderful as Sheridan is, sometimes the winter can get long. And it's just going to be a great thing for families that are saying, gee, I'd like to forget that it's 20 below zero out. I'd like to get my swimming trunks and go to a place where we could forget about the winter and have fun with the family. And it's just going to be an exciting thing for Sheridan. For those who want to stay out, there is a ski area there. There Once is. Once upon a time, and now you're trying to bring it back? Yeah, it's called the Antelope Butte Ski Lodge, uh, Ski Resort. It used to be privately owned, mm -hmm. um, and then years ago it shut down. I don't know all the reasons for that, but now a nonprofit called Antelope Butte Foundation is resurrecting the ski resort. And, you know, s skiing has always been popular, but it's on the rise again. So that's another exciting thing for our local area because uh, hopefully by, I think, the end of next year, they'll be fully open. They are doing events during the summer this year from brew fest to uh, mountain biking and hiking and they're going to try to use it for as much as possible. 
Now, speaking of sports, you have the big mount, big big horn mountain rodeo. Does that come up this summer? Yeah, um, in July is our big uh, rodeo. Rodeo week. Uh, rodeo it's week. It goes from July 11th through, I believe, the 19th, and it's huge. We get people again all around the world coming to our rodeo, and it's just an exciting. We look forward to it every year. Um, I mean, they have different events every night. Uh, from India relay races to, of course, the bull riding and the roping, and and you know we're cowboy state. We love our rodeo. So you got your rodeo. Mm -hmm. You've got your ice rink. You've got your swimming. Uh, now you need a sports complex. <laughs> we do. Part of uh, we're gonna, of course, we're having a new uh, interchange in the north end of town, which means we're gonna move that interchange down about three quarters of a mile to a mile. Um, north in the freeway. Um, part of that, just off that area, there's going to be a sports complex that they're in the works of doing. And what it's going to do is it's going to open up doors for sporting events that Sheridan's really never been able to host before because we don't have a place for it. Uh, so yet another exciting project that is in the works. And uh, it's just exciting times to be a part of council and watching all this stuff. Well, no okay. wonder you're so involved in the council. You've got a lot of things in the air, yeah. a lot of things brewing. I want to thank you for coming to the conference, of course, yep. but thanking, thank you for coming by and participating in our Charter Local Edition. Mr. Gooch, thanks for having me. Best of luck to you. Appreciate and, it. And uh, we hope to see you again. Thank you for tuning in to Charter's Local Edition. We appreciate it. Charter Local Edition has been an exclusive presentation of Charter Communications, providing original programming.